Hello everyone and welcome to Powered by the Moon. Guys, I am back and if you can see, I moved out here earlier than expected because the weather's been up great. Been getting up at five o'clock, meeting the sun out in the desert with my babies. And um, no, I'm excited to be out here. I got my craft area, which I'll show you guys some pictures or we'll do a little tour in here of my tumbler, rock tumbler, my, and my mound stones, as I said, my burners for my candles and my wax and my stones and just everything. I am, it feels so good to be out here. Everything is set. I will be taking you guys outside as well. Sorry, I do talk fast because I want to get you guys all the information not keep you forever. We're going to do today, you feel versus they feel, okay? Um, with that being said, being out here, I got some of my candles and my sprays and stones up here that I sell. I don't, and a couple of my soaps, but I do, everything is charged by the full moon and everything has healing stones or herbs in it. I will be getting my bath scrubs and bombs out here, well, tubes, because I couldn't form a bomb to save my life, but it does the same thing. And I got to add the oil in it, so. With that being said, we're gonna move forward, guys. I will be doing a uh, huge holiday sales coming up here soon. Um, readings and uh, any of my attraction and protection candles, attraction money, love, blockage removals, sprays, um, chakra cleansing bombs, well, tubes, all those good things. We'll get into that though. I have a whole thing up here. Um, but I am not going to my normal romance oracles that I love and everybody loves. I've gotten these from uh, J uh, Jennifer Zen Walker. Uh, she has them up on Amazon. I love these cards. I saw them and I had to have them. I watch her occasionally, but I like these. Okay, so here we go. Love by God, guided by you for the collective of how they feel versus how their their person feels. Love by God, guided by you. Take what resume, that resonates, leave what doesn't. Guys, I cannot connect to every single one of you. Maybe just a sentence, maybe just a word's going to. If not, then we'll see. This could be about a friend, a family. I don't know the mechanic. Your neighbor, I don't know. However it resonates with you is how it will. If it doesn't, we'll catch up with you on the next one. I have a, uh, one on here that I like that says, take hard left, hard left. <laughs> if you guys watch enough tarot, uh, you would know, maybe, I don't know. There's so many on here, but um, let's go. I have not been uh, popping these because they're kind of big, but I'm going to start. And see, these too many come out there. All these cards that I'm using today have not been used a lot, especially this is my brand new Oracle deck. Um, my Witch's Tarot. And I got the Light Share and the Holographic, which is not that old. They've only been used for a few readings. Okay, for you. I'm used to doing you guys over this way, but then it looks weird in the video. Romance. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Okay, guys. All right. I like it. Okay. For them. There's so what are they got going on in the romance oracles? Rain. An arrangement upon mutual unions between lovers, marriage could be involved. So you got romance on your side and a ring on yours. Let's go. This is going to be great because I always love good reads and not people breaking up and horrible reads, trying to return and nobody's returning. And so let's kick this off and make sure that we are doing it right, guys. This room feels so good. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Loving it. I get to have the doors open. My babies are laying here. <laughs> yes, this is the Witch's Tarot. It's become my new favorite. Um, I just love the art. I like a lot of cards with art. Now, I do work with a lot of the decks of right away. Usually, I like holographic uh, decks, but 
I do have other ones. Okay, love by God, guided by you. What is in their fills? We're going to go with past. Then, guys, we go into uh, present fills, which are filling presently. And then what it is that uh, you want. And then um, outcome. And usually that comes with the advice. And then we'll pull from the wisdom oracle. We'll do the same for them. What they want, what they're feeling, how they perceive you. Led by God, guided by you. Guys, perceptions in the eyes of the beholder. What you feel may not be what they feel. So, we got comments. Let's be nice. We're all here to have a good time, and nobody needs any extra added stress. Okay? Be nice to each other. Be nice to me. I'm not babies, but that's only if they're barking. Mm. Let's go. What is the pass for the collective watching? Oh. Okay. So, in the past, you were moving forward into some shadow work. Um, dark night is so, but that's lucky because you got the will of fortune. So in the past, you were being guided and led to go through a dark night of the soul. Let's go through my cards out. I know this sounds vague already, but I will figure it all out. Patience. Wow. These cards I mean, are just beautiful. Now that I got it pushed back for everybody. You can see me, you can see there, because I see many comments in some of my people that I watch of why don't you show your face, are you ashamed, or why can't we see your cards? But now I can't show you so close. Right. Hope, a bit of temperance, having hope, it's star card there, or wishing. Let's go. You spoke the truth. Eh, it fell out anyway, so you take that ace of swords. Maybe you need a patience to speak up about something. Okay, and that's it. Walking away, I see it. Nine of cups to a wish fulfillment. You went from the eight to the nine. Oh my gosh, you got all kinds of stuff here. You got the, okay, there, yourself or someone else. Maybe a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. You got a lot of cups here. You got the queen of cups. So there, in the past, you were, um... You walked away to go to your nine of uh, comfort to your wish fulfillment to feel some victory, okay? You walked away and you did your dark night of the soul. You got your, this is too many cards for me, but I'm going to take them. Okay, so you spoke your truth. You felt victorious in what you felt you said and you went off to heal yourself. You did your shadow work. After speaking your truth, um, you're ready to give love again because you are headed from walking from your eight of cups here straight to your nine of cups, your wish fulfillment. So it took some work. You might have been in a relationship that left you feeling um, like in the darkness, you know. But you said what you had to say and you got out of there and um, you feel victorious, you feel happy and content with what you had to say to them to move forward and on into the will. Of, your will of fortune just pretty much pushed you into your uh, wish fulfillment, okay? So let's go for their side. Let's go. Led by God, guided by you. What's going on with the watchers person that's the past let's go that by god guided by you spirit this is like sure but holographic i got the original that's so actually the first deck i started with <laughs> so much big oh three of cups hmm. celebrating yeah we're celebrating something huh 
past spirit led by God guided by you focus focus is needed let's go let's do this for the watchers person what's in their past Five cards out, please. Five cards out. They didn't feel very much control in this relationship for themselves. Okay. Oh. Okay, page of wands, six of cups. I mean, page of pentacles, six of cups. There was no offering here of a reunion or very little. And maybe that's what made you have to walk away. Let's go. Somebody didn't take a leap on this uh, Six of Cups. Reuniting or wanting to reconciliate. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. In the past, what's going on? For two more out. Two more out. Skirt on the table, please. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. So this person is very was very slow moving, very little offerings. And not feeling confident in it at all either. No more. Okay. Ace of Cups in reverse. Nothing new to offer. Hmm. Eight of Wands. And the devil. Okay, so this person, I said that they're not very confident. And usually my confidence card is the Queen of Wands, but I'll use the Nine of Pentacles sometimes. You guys, Nine Nines on the board here a lot. Um, well, twice already. You got Eight Eight. So. Anyways, what I was saying is, you know, you keep, they come out, they wanted this reconciliation. It looked like they still made it it because they didn't feel confident and they didn't know how to express themselves. And with the devil here, there could have been some codependency or um, insecurities, manipulation. They may have felt this and maybe that's why they stagnated it. But then again, you did your shadow work and you did, you feel victorious and you spoke your truth. Sorry, that's part of having the windows open. I hope that guy feels uh, adequate and uh, <laughs> his motorcycles and things, when they speed him by, it's like they're trying to be the big guy or something. They're at a stalemate and they're feeling insecure about and this in the past there are six of cups is okay so it looks like they wanted a reconciliation and they didn't get it and they may have expressed it to you and You weren't happy in this relationship. You wanted out of it. Let's go. How does the viewer feel and perceive the connection, the person? Five cards this time. Oh, nine of swords, stressed out, up at night, Anx anxiety they caused you. Well, how are they feeling? Not that did that we're in now the present feels ten of wands my gosh they got they stress you out how do you want 
this. High Priestess. Your intuition, you're ready to tell this person, or you did it, and you're just sitting on what you know, seven of wands, defense of what you know to be true. Your wish fulfillment is not, was not met in the past. And maybe that's what stalemated this person at a halt. One more out, one more out, let's go. Okay. Ten of Pentacles. So you're feeling like this stressed you out. You need to move forward, offer your love somewhere else because there's abundance elsewhere. I'm not seeing it with this person. I think this person would like to. I think they want the higher level of commitment with that ring. And you might have somebody else already in mind, to be honest with you, because you got the romance with worth exploring. You got you walking away into your wish fulfillment, the Eight of Cups into the Nine of Cups, very victorious after, I think, you know, getting a hold of yourself and your thoughts, doing the shadow work and realizing that there was truth that needed to be spoken. There was, you needed to walk away. And right now, you're feeling about them and the situation and your perception is that it caused you a lot of burden. You got to the Nine of Swords, which is anxiety, up at night stress, and you got your Ten of Wands, which is total burden, heavy on the back, carrying your full load. But in this card, usually you see him sideways, but this, you got your back turned and you're walking away because you, you don't want to carry that. And I think there's someone or something that has sparked your interest that you feel. Look at the journey of Nine of Pentacles, the opposite of them. They're reversed. So you feel, oh yeah, you've done your healing. So, you guys, you feel there's something much greater out there that's going to bring you a total abundance. Ten of Pentacles is, it's Pentacles they usually do with money, but Ten of Pentacles can mean exactly what this card shows. A loving couple with a house in the background, family, generosity, abundance, nurturing. There's a baby in this one with his old wise man's nurturing. Okay. So, um, their fills and wants. I'm kind of a little nervous. Their fills and wants. And perspective, not necessary. What is their perception? Yep, nine, yep, they're waiting. Or nine of wands. Okay, so guys, these guys got the eight of swords. They're mentally trapped and bound in their head over this. They feel like they're victim. The one, one, uh, nine of wands uh, to a burdensome that maybe they feel you've placed on them by being able to move on so quickly. They're, you know, they can't make up any decision. Oh, man. Okay, let's go. Two more out on their feels and perceptions of the viewer. And their Ten of Pentacles just came in reverse, opposite of you. They do not feel happy. They're not happy about this at all. Queen of Pentacles. Yeah. They're not feeling that you and the two cups. So they're feeling that, you know, they don't feel abundant in this 
the soulmate connection. They're not feeling that um, you or them are not uh, very stable. I think it's them. They're not very stable about it. Um, they're not stable in their surroundings. They're not stable with their thoughts. Uh, so, like some of the cards that are the same, but they're getting them in the reverse. You're getting them up, right? <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's see. What do you want to see out of this? What would you want to see? What do you want to see? to happen, you want to just, uh, you know, um, Knight of Wands, he could be a player, but he could also just be quite inspiring, bringing new messages. What do they want? What is this Knight of Wands here for? Igniting passion. Doesn't always mean that they're players and in and out. You just be igniting a little bit more passion towards because they're already the Knight of Cups coming because they see you got the King of Swords here. Damn, this is very male, and I don't do gender, but this is very male driven right now. <laughs> King of Swords, let's go. What does the viewer want? I mean, you just want honesty with that. Uh, King of Swords there with yourself and with this new beginning. Ace of Wands. You want to you want to um, ignite a, a new passion exactly. It's but you want it to be honest and you want it to be um, strategic because the King of Swords can be that very harsh too can be. Uh, so I just feel it's wanting, you know, to cut to the chase and be honest about this new start that you're on. Oh my gosh. And you just got the queen of wands. Is that who you're going after? Is the knight of wands and the king of wands? You want this queen of wands, huh? You're being honest with yourself about this new start with this queen of wands. I knew there was somebody else involved. Okay. But you're kind of hanging out and waiting to see what's good, how it's going to play out. You're in hangman mode. Wow, that's beautiful, guys. That's cool. Because somebody over here is not doing too well. They're thinking of fond memories. They don't want to be set in a separation, but they got, you know, some toxic energy around them. Whether it be they're insecure, manipulating, maybe trying to manipulate the situation. And maybe that's why you had to get that ace of swords out. But then, I mean, they're not doing well at all. They got their Ten of Wands upright, their Ten of Pentacles in reverse. That's completion numbers too, by the way, guys. They got their, okay. They want to see balance in this. They want to move forward with strength. Okay, let's go. What do they want? What do they want? What does the viewer's person want? To sit there and, uh, and regrets right now? And think about maybe past actions that they had. I mean, because you came out basically doing shadow work, having patience, but speaking with truth and intensity and walking away. So this person may be in their regrets for allowing you to walk away. Not willing to put in the work and the time and the effort to make it right. And, you know, maybe they didn't because you just needed to go off and find this queen and wand or maybe this is through a long period of time guys i mean i see the ring it could have involved marriage ten of swords i would hope they they want an apology but i don't know if you owe them one or they want to give one they're in their ten of swords too jeez Come on, three more cards on what they want. What do they want? Okay. Oh, they want a decision to be made. Here came that strength card. 
They got the two of wands out wanting a strength to be made, a decision made. They want to work on this. Like I said, there's the Wheel of Fortune. Their Wheel of Fortune did come out and the strength, which I saw earlier at the bottom of their deck. And usually, guys, I set my intentions for, well, not usually. I have set my cards intentions. Whatever's at the bottom of the deck is what you're not seeing coming. And what you're going to see coming is karma. Because you're balancing out yourself. But let's go back over to them. Sorry. And you're sitting there with the king of cups. Okay. I'm going to go back over here. Okay. So, as I was saying, they want a decision to be made that, you know, you're willing to have the strength to come in and work on this with them and move forward into a new, better direction than what you guys were. And that's what they want. Over here is not what I'm seeing. Okay. So let's go back to you. Oh no, this is like I was saying at the bottom of the deck, you're seeing you're gonna see some karma come because things are gonna balance out within you. Here's the king of cups. You don't have any regrets or uh remorse in this. Not really. I mean they they stress you out, that's what you feel about them, that's what you perceive, right? So I don't, I don't see why you would want to. Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. It's coming, guys. Something new. You have your Ace of Wands up here, too. Let's go. Love by God. Guided by you. Come on. What is the outcome for the viewer? Outcome. Five cards out. Five cards. Wow. Oh, guys. There's way too many, but... You got a page of cups and a page of uh, swords here. Somebody's stalking you because they want a new offer, an apology. Five of swords here. You're putting down that. Uh, yeah, here's karma and this. Okay, so guys, you want an apology you're not going to get. And somebody's watching and observing you and... Um, watching your actions um you because you put away and down the drama you're seeing karma karma's coming to light of this situation putting you in your uh independence mode to seek out a new twin flame or very high union relationship with your four wands there okay Hmm. And you don't care if they come and apologize or if they're watching. You're doing it with no, no apologies. I kind of want to feel bad for this person. But I kind of can't. I kind of feel as if they brought this on. Let's go see their outcome. Let's go. I oh, have that thing. We spirit five cards up. I mean, hopefully they could just go kill. Oh, no. Three of Pentacles in reverse. They should go in. Oh, they did get it. Three of Cups and Ten of Cups next to each other. Oh, and Queen of Cups is at the bottom of their deck. So guys, they got the Three of Pentacles, they got the uh, Three of Cups, and they got the Ten of Cups. This is their outcome. I'm stuck because it doesn't. I gotta see, how's this matching up? Where's my one? Two more cards out so I get the full picture here, please. Two more cards out. Okay. And they got the Four of Wands at the end and the Knight of Wands. 
So you guys, these guys may just go out, have fun with their friends, maybe explore. And I think they're going to hope for a new beginning with you. I think this person's going to remain stuck in a hoping in a reuniting situation with you. And, you know, this person needs to know that they can't wait forever. They need to move on. Like what's meant for them will be for them. I did a twin flame uh, spiritual space on my... Um, some twin flames go through this stuff. And they got to go and they got to be with other people and they got to, you know, learn a lot of lessons. This person needs their own death and rebirth over here. Guys, I got every sign on here. You got uh, Virgo, t Capricorn, Taurus. You got um, Leo Heavy. You got Scorpio. Oh no, sorry, Capricorn. Well, Scorpio's here with that Six of Cups, too. Um, Ten of Cups is all water signs. You do got some air here. Libra, um, Sagittarius, and Gemini. All right, so this person is wanting a better outcome with you, you know, um, in what they want in their outcome, but it's not going to be because I see you leaving this, putting down the drama, you're not self you're not self satisfied with everything this person is doing. They have to me, their pentacles, their nine of pentacles in reverse, their queen of pentacles in reverse. What is this? They got the devil out. To me, they self sabotage this. Now they're sitting in regrets and feeling insecure about what has happened. Okay. But you're moving on. You feel okay with what's happening. I feel there's even somebody else you got your eye on at this point. I do feel some of this keeps you a little mentally bounded. I'm feeling you're having to have patience with yourself in all situations. But I feel that at the end, this is going to be really good now. Let me do one more thing. Are they both getting the four of wands at the end here? Because they've healed this and they're coming back together. Very strange. I I got it better by you. Or are they just moving on to two new four of wands? Because this is the outcome you both got at the end. And like I said, this is some, may be some twin flame because you got four and four wands and those are twin flame cards for me. And it may be that you, you're doing all this great work and you're on a great path and hopes to come back with this, but they got to go and do some work. They just have to. There's the two of cups. I think so. Yep. You two probably will end up coming back to get, no, that's in reverse. Sorry. These are my vice versa, so if I don't hurry up and look. Um, mm -mm. That's something new. Nope. This is not your commitment relationship. This is not your twin flame. Six of, cup in, or six of wands in reverse with the hair flop. Let's go ahead and get your romance oracles out. Or no, your uh, wisdom oracles. So it's just, it's just such a big outcome. But when I asked, we saw what it was. Which was your hair font. But your six of wands, which is your victory card. Which would this, if it was going to be them, it would have been the Six of Wands upright and the Hierophant upright saying yes. And maybe, you know, your outcome is is that they're going to have the strength to move on into a twin, to their twin flame. I don't know. You're going to take all this as it resonates. So let's go for this. 
higher power. These are really too big for me to try to shuffle. Or, uh, these I just put. Still look like I got better by you, Spirit. What is going on? One card for each. Let's go. want to say that this could be something that you guys need to go do the work on and um, go the distance um, and then come back together but right now you're not because my card said no okay. you're gonna have to do some twin flame research for you to understand why I'm feeling this thinker you got the thinker. You're thinking about things. You're, you've stepped back to think about what it is in your life that's going to take you to the wish fulfillment and that ten of pentacles. They got blessed. Let's go in here. Let's have a fork in the road. I want to do a mutual. Because... I'm feeling weird about this. Can I get a mutual oracle? Sorry guys, I wasn't gonna do this. The mutual, I usually do it up top, but I changed it and I'm doing it now. This is a fork in the road. And this person is gonna be blessed if you think and and you come back to this. I'm, I'm just telling you, everything here is signs that it's done, it's over. From my intuition and the way that has landed and their bottom line it's like in the past they wanted this and they couldn't handle it right and they're, they're not handling it right and they're trying to handle it in their way and then you come to the bottom and it's all positive that, and, but then I did the vice versa cards and not now maybe just not now because there's a you're thinking about it. Blessed is there for them and fork in the road and go the distance between worlds. I think you guys are going to come back into union as soon as should be told. It's round and round. Yes, you, you're going to go round and round. You've gone round and round. Asking yourself why. Guys, I think you're coming back together with this person. But in time because this person has to do the work this person needed the death card this person needs the death and transformation more than you do for sure you've done your work i'm gonna go uh one more for mutual and the romance and i should have did it up there if i was gonna do it but no i'm gonna do it now not against the law I'm just going to go in the middle, grab it. Obsession. Be careful. There are strong desires and attachments. That's that. This person is too obsessed. Family. There may be family in, in, interrupting this. Just... The conflict is resolved the healing has begun. So, I mean, this person right now is not in any way ready for you two to come back together. I think you got your eyes open. I think you could uh, give this person another chance if they were to go and do the work they need to do on themselves to not be in this obsessive and this... Uh, because it's what's causing the fork in the road and this devil energy. There may be a lot of insecurities and just jealousy on this person's part. Due to that, I believe you have walked away. I know you've walked away because you know that there's a wish fulfillment out there for you. That, you know, 
you just might as well hang, you'll rather hang out and be on your own and chill out while you, you know, but you have your eyes open. If something else was to come, you would. Okay. I want you guys to take this out. It resonates. Please comment as you see fit. I would love for you to like and subscribe. I need to, uh, not need, but I'd like to get more viewers so that we could connect more and I could get more feedback. Guys, I'm so, like I said, happy I could start showing you this. If I'm too far back, again, comment. I can bring it closer. I'm noticing now and I shall. Um, other than that, guys, you be blessed and take care. All right? Be well.